Hey, in the previous videos we talked about the weapon lines, the ballistic curve and the atmospheric conditions that affect the point of impact. In this video we will go a little deeper into detail. When we look at a single bullet, the curve looks like a single line. But multiple shots make a cone-like shape. The farther the distance, the greater the spread. The shooter always tries to minimize this spread by using a good rifle, fine scope, excellent ammo and a good shooting fundamentals. It's important to understand that the bullet itself is not an aerodynamic until it gets spin. And if you throw it with your hand, it will fumble and hit the target with the side. And that's exactly what happens when the twist rate does not match the bullet's length, diameter and weight. It's important to match the rifling to the bullet. So the stability factor will be above 1 but usually it's 1.5 and above. Then the bullet nose follows the trajectory almost perfectly. In long range shooting, the shooter uses extremely aerodynamic bullets. It's referred as high ballistic coefficient bullet or high BC. Usually long, sharp, heavy and fast bullet with a bow tail have higher ballistic coefficient. In future videos, I'll explain the BC concept in more details. But for now, it's enough to understand that higher BC bullet will be less time in the air compared to low BC bullet. So the atmospheric condition will have less of an effect on the bullet. And it will be easier to hit targets in different conditions in long distance. Let's compare few different ammunition to understand the ballistics better. We will compare three calibers, 5.56 NATO, 7.62 NATO and 3.38 Lapua Magnum. If we shoot on 40 by 40 centimeters target at 300 meters, in the 5.56 a mistake of 40 meters in the distance will shift the point of impact by 20 centimeters, so we will be on the edge of the target. Same will happen with a 10 km per hour mistake in the wind. In 7.62 we can make a 40 meter mistake in the distance and 16 km per hour in the wind. And with the 338 we can make 60 meter mistake in the distance and 25 km per hour with wind. At 600 meter we can allow ourselves to make smaller mistakes. So in 5.56 it's 10 meter mistake in the distance and only 2 km per hour in the wind. In 7.62, 15 meters in the distance and 3.5 km per hour wind. And 3.38 will allow 22 meters mistake in the distance and 5.5 km per hour with wind. It's obvious that the 3.38 is the most forgiving because the bullet is heavier and has higher BC and also has a high muzzle velocity. But this does not take into consideration the shooting cone that we talked about earlier. Let me explain. If we shoot at the same target at 600 meters with a 7.62 nut round and our system, the weapon, ammunition and shooter can shoot one MOA groups, which means 17.4 centimeters at this distance, even if we said that 3.5 km per hour wind mistake will bring us to the edge of the target, with this spread, even a 2.5 km per hour wind will cause part of the shots to miss the target based on statistics only. In these conditions, the shooter must call the wind in only 2 km per hour accuracy. There can be a situation that the shooters called a bigger wind mistake, let's say 5 km per hour, and a small part of his spread will hit the target. And in a more stupid situation, a bad wind call with a bigger spread will have more chances of hitting the target than a better shooter with a small spread. Sometimes bad shooter plus bad spotter equal hit. That's it for this video. Hope it was interesting topic. So have good day or night and bye.